Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here on the Corn School today with Peter Johnson. Pete, how's it going? Awesome, Bern. Thanks so much. Yes, oh, excellent. Awesome. You know, one of the things that's not awesome is Ontario's corn crop. And I want to talk about that, that today, how we manage it. We had some go in early, some mid-month, and a lot pushed in in the last few days. Where are we at? Yeah, so, so there's actually growers, Bern, that still have nothing in the ground. And it's been such a challenge. You, you either pushed it and planted into less than ideal conditions or you don't have anything in the ground mm -hmm. and the, and it's now june what the sixth today and dang for the people that didn't push it early they're now pushing it on june the sixth and planting into just as bad conditions as the people that planted on may 4th so it's really been frustrating for those of us who who don't want to damage the soil but but where are we at in terms mm -hmm. of crop this is pretty early planted yep. stuff here so it's up nicely we got three leaves but the middle stuff it's the stuff that really had the big deluge so it got planted and then the, some of it got planted just before the big deluge and some got planted about a week before that but the stuff that was planted on the friday and then we got four inches right? of kaboom or even up that. to six like just washouts everywhere horrendous so it's the worst case scenario mm. we slabbed it right we right. slabbed it when we planted it and then as we pull out of the field we get six inches of rain we just get concrete right. i want to talk about uh, how some of that corn manages that environment, what we can do, you know, do we need a little bit more rain? Yeah, so what's what's been horrible for farmers like me who have zero planted, nothing planted, what's been horrible for us has saved that crop that got pounded in right before the big rain. So it just was starting to emerge and it's in this concrete block because when you get six inches of rain, the tillage you've done almost doesn't matter. Mm. It just all seals down and you can see it. The, the, the ground looks like glass and it like there's no air in it. And remember, roots need air, right? Yep. They need air and corn is not oats. Corn cannot pump oxygen into the roots. So it, it was just struggling to come up in this concrete block. And if it had turned hot and dry, that corn would have had huge issues. But we got this nice little shower, half inch of rain, maybe eight tenths in some areas, two tenths other areas, but just enough that everything's wet and wet soil pushes easy. And so those fields are emerging. And right now, growers are saying, wow, that was the right decision. Everything's looking good because it's emerging and, and they're forgetting that the roots are still in that concrete block. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the late planted stuff, that stuff that just got planted before this half inch of rain, another 12 hour window of planting, that's what we seem to get, 12, yep, 12 hour hours windows. Yeah, like it's brutal. But, but those crops, it worked up less than ideal, but at least the, the structure you created with the tillage or the, the seed bed that you created, it's still okay. It hasn't been harmed. And so those root systems are gonna have a lot easier time developing. Yeah. So what can we do with this corn in that middle area that's maybe sitting and may continue to sit in potential concrete? Yeah, so it's not just the middle corn, it's the early corn yeah. too, right? So this is early corn. And what's really interesting, the difference between corn and soybeans and why soybeans handle this better is that with corn, it changes its root system. So this corn, you can just see, we have the seminal root system here. We have some early adventitious roots. So that's what the plant lives off of until it's got five leaves. Mm -hmm. And then these roots all die and the secondary roots take over. And you can just see the crown of the plant developing and one little tiny secondary root starting. This corn isn't quite three leaf, but already we have that mm -hmm. secondary root. Man. If we don't keep getting rain, when the corn plant loses these roots and has to survive off the secondary roots, if they're trying to grow through hard, dry concrete, that corn will just go <coughs> and stop. And so then you go, wow, like, like what do we do or, or can we do anything? And, and could it just rain again? When you plant wet, like, like too much water needs too much water to make it keep working. So what can we do? I'm, I'm thinking nitrogen, anything we can get on to sort of strengthen that plant and get it pushing. Yeah, and so absolutely. Some of the things that you can help, and, and interesting you mentioned nitrogen because 
our soil release of nitrogen yeah. really low this year. Yeah. It stayed cold, cold, cold. Cool. So we can't short our nitrogen, even though we planted late and they're looking at reduced yield potential. So yeah, a little more nitrogen because the nitrogen will help make the plant a little more vigorous. A, a good starter fertility program would have helped, but we're too late yeah. for that. But some of the other things we can do, really interesting. I'm not a tillage guy, Burn. You know I'm a no-till guy. You didn't mention that word, did you? Uh, yeah, I mentioned that word. But, but on this glass, if we could get some air in the soil, hmm. we'll actually help those roots move a little better. So there's some work we've done way long time ago when anhydrous used to be a thing. Yep. And on some really heavy Lambton clay, we turned the anhydrous off and we just ran the knife between the corn rows to see what would happen. Interesting. And we picked up anywhere from eight to 14 bushel per acre more yield on the corn crop because we loosened the soil up enough when it was hard and dry to let those roots get out and grow and access nutrients. And so this is one of those years where if you really have glass, you might look at inter-row cultivation. You might look at a rotary hoe, break the surface, try to get a little air in there. You might look at digging the old anhydrous applicator oh. out of the fence row, you got enough nitrogen on or you got your nitrogen on other ways don't care running something down through there if it turns hot and dry may just help that corn plant yield more awesome pete thank you so much uh, we'll see how it goes on the soybeans and let's see what we can do with this corn crop yeah absolutely it's all up to mother nature now if we get lots of rain nobody has to do anything mm -hmm. uh, and the rest of us if we get lots of rain we'll just never get the corn in the ground but nah, we got till june 15th we're gonna get there